Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman Draft Baseball Super Jumbo Edition. Half a case, three box, random team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Appreciate it. Now there's no nationals, so we're going to take them out. We only sold 29 spots in this three box break. Let's roll it and randomize it. Snake Eyes, two times. That's easy. I can do that. One. And two. Bam. Francesco down to Kevin Rock. Kevin Rock steady. All right. Snake Eyes, two times for the teams. One and two. After two times, we got the Los Angeles Dodgers down to the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, the old Snake Eyes. Love the Snake Eyes. Easy for me to randomize. Doesn't take up too much time. I can... Jump right to here really quick. All right, Francesco, you got my Dodgers. Anthony K with the Brew Crew. Last spot, Mojo. Rick with the Padres. Justin with the Mariners. Rick with the O's. Greg with the Braves. Randy with the Blue Jays. Jason with the Astros. Kenny with the Yankees. EA with the Diamondbacks. Michael with the Phillies. Thomas with the Rays. Francesco with the Tigers. EA with the Reds. Roy with the Pirates. Tyler with the Rockies. Aaron with the Cubs. Rangers for EA. Kevin with the White Sox. Stephen Cohen with the Angels. Kirk Jackson, Mets, Darren McKenzie, DMAC with the Giants, Bradley with the Indians, Rory with the Red Sox, Aaron with the A's, Drew with the Marlins, Josh with the Cardinals, Jeff with the Royals, and Kevin Rock with the Minnesota Twins. Let's order these uh, alphabetically by team, and we'll pause the video for just a few moments. Pause just a few moments, and uh, we're going to see if there's any trades when we come back. Stick around. All right, welcome back, everybody. There were no trades, not even a whisper of a trade this time. But there's the f official printout right there for the 7th, Saturday the 7th. Appreciate everybody getting into the action right here and spending a bit of your Saturday with Jaspies. Anthony, Last Ball Mojo, Brew Crew. And there's everybody else. Appreciate everyone getting in. Let's pop this right over here on my paper stand. Now, remember... Earlier today, I marked all the boxes six, so you know that they were all from the same case. Six, six, six. Mark of the beast. All right. Good luck, everybody. Oh, some Clemson kid just broke away for a touchdown. All of these right here. Open up these sausage link packs here. Randy was asking earlier if the Rays have any, but I think they do have a mid first round pick. But yeah, I don't know the checklist off the top of my head. But hard to say in this Bowman draft because it's like these are all prospects. So maybe they're not good. Anyone who's not good now could be good later. Anyone who's good now could be a bust. So these are kind of just get these, maybe set it and forget it. But we have seen Ray's autos get pulled relatively relatively frequently so yeah maybe maybe we'll find some of those hits in here whoa 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 Logan that was just that was just out of nowhere that's uncalled for anyone on the Dodgers always a bus he says unbelievable that was just a cheap shot for the sake of taking a cheap shot. I was uncalled for, Logan. Uncalled for. Uh, see, now Sean's getting in. Look what you started, Logan.
All right, so as usual, paper doesn't ship, but the Chrome will. Obviously, numbered paper cards will ship. We'll do an autograph recap at the end of this, too. And we got Tyler Callahan. You feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? Like Harry Callahan? They're related, I'm sure. Uh, and that will go to EA and the Reds. Nice one, EA. There you go. This one is numbered right here. You can see 24 out of 50 franchise futures. For the White Sox, that's going to go to Kevin Rock. Nice, Brandon. Well, we still have a little ways to go, Brandon, but but you're definitely not going to miss it. There's Ryan Nelson, purple paper to 250. We got Darian Cruz to uh, 150, 008 out of 150. And we got Shea Langliers. Lang Langliers. <laughs> That'll go to the Braves, Greg, with the Bravos. Not sure how to pronounce that, but that's a, uh, your ninth overall pick. There you go. That's a good one. Yeah, where'd you get your burritos, Brandon C? You got burrito. He was like, he was saying, got burritos for dinner, back in time for Black Diamond, which will happen in about an hour or so. Oh man, John, I uh, Roberto's, I miss Roberto's in San Diego. There was one on Miramar, right next to the air base. That was a good Roberto's. Mmm, Roberto's. They had they they had some they had something that particular Roberto's had had something that I have not seen done as well here in L.A. Carne asada fries. Yeah. Good carne asada fries there, done perfectly. But places down here in L.A. for some reason, I haven't seen a, a spot get it just right. Although I did see a taco truck recently that. Had some promising Roberto's esque carne asada fries. Ah, brand new just went to a low. Yeah, buy local. If you have if you have the luxury of getting local tacos, you got to go with those. Or burritos. Out of 150, Yordi's out Valdez. And we got Michael Massey to 99. And your redemption is Hunter Bishop, who is a giant, I believe. Not physically a giant, but a San Francisco baseball giant. He's not Andre the Giant. Um... Looking at the draft class. Yes, your 10th overall pick out of Arizona State, Hunter Bishop. And that goes to DMAC and the Giants. Do I have a pen? Here's a pen. Little Oppo Joe Mojo right there. People are saying that the Langliers variation. It's pretty cool. 
But yeah, that's 15 out of 99. Aren't refractors usually out of 4.99? So yeah, maybe that's a little more especial. Um, the code, Rick. Yeah, it does say eight. Um, it's hard to focus, but it does say eight oh three on the bottom. We're still using our backup camera, so I can't get a super zoom here. But yeah, it's got eight oh three there. I don't think we've seen any of those variations, right? The out of ninety nines, code eight oh threes. Paper will get donated. <laughs> All right, then we got Tristan Houses, two sixty five out of four ninety nine paper. <laughs> yeah, it's a I've been busy here, Brian. Oh, 89 out of 250. Turns out running a shop is tougher than we thought. Rangers for EA. You got Davis Wenzel. <laughs> There's a little bit of dust on there, EA, to take care of. All right, there we go. Toner should be on the way though. And we have to get we have to we we got like a, a camera that's kind of an SLR format, so we gotta get like an, a lens for it. We forgot to get a lens for it. So we gotta get that. Daniel, what's going on? Uh, I did not. What? What? What in the world? There is a dog with a tail growing out of his forehead. I did not see that. Uh, B. Trav, wise guy, saying surely it's be a stables nearby. Yeah, we checked. <laughs> Our toner is not there. So we had to we had to order it from. Um, some shady guy. We even went to Best Buy too, B Trev. It's a unicorn dog. That so that dog B Trev is saying that dog's gone viral. I gotta look at this dog, Dalton Varsho. And there's Michael Bush. A nice bush for Francesco and my Dodgers. All right, next one. All right, so I got, I got to look up that unicorn dog. What else do I have to look up that I, it's easily look upable? What about what about the dog's paws that look like a koala? Uh, you guys hear about this? The bottom of a, uh, the dog's paw looks like a koala. I gotta go look at Bubba and see what his paw looks like if it looks like a koala. Like a koala head. Think progressive regrets putting Baker Mayfield in all those commercials. All right. 
We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Super Jumbo box one out of break six in the books. Box two out of three. Good luck. Here in random team six. See, that's a good question. All right, so I guess they, they, there was a few offers to rem remove the tail. Or rem re get rid of the dog, maybe? Oh, and you know what happened to him, Brian. Um, yeah, when he had when he good one, Logan. If he if that dog is if unicorn dog is happy, does he wet the, do, do both of those tails wet? Oh, offers to adopt him. He was a stray. Are you sure it's not like a internet? Is this, is this real? Is this not a? I, I got to look this up. Is this not like an internet scam? Like someone just taped a. That's kind of dark, I guess. Taped a, a a tail on on this dog, and that, oh no, that's definitely oh my yeah that that that's definitely a tail on the dog. That is wild. Oh, that's a pretty adorable dog though. Hold on, let me just switch screens for a second. There it is, right there. Wow. Oh, cute dog, but yeah, it it is like tassels at a ca at a at a cabaret establishment, Brian. Oh, yeah, hey, he's a pretty cute dog. Jr. John saying, "What's the word on soccer cards? Is there a future in the states, Premier League? Yeah, MLS has been pretty strong." Major League Soccer's been pretty strong. I don't know if hobby-wise it's been strong. I think overall as a sport, it's been doing well, but I think there still needs to be, I mean, as evidenced by the soccer-only stadiums that have been being built. You know, so there is a market, but I think there still needs to be a couple strong American stars or just MLS grown stars, whatever their nationality, their MLS grown stars to sort of develop, which hasn't quite gotten there yet. Uh oh, Jay's got something for us. Fish with a human face? I mean, we could do this for hours, right? That's, that can't be real. That's not real. No. Well, this is, this is a video. I need a picture. That's not... Uh... That's weird. That is weird. That made my that made my stomach turn, Jay. Brian O, my take on Wozniacki retired. Caroline Wozniacki retired. Didn't she? Didn't she just win a major? Like a year or two ago. All right, Super Jumbo Box 2 of 3 here in Ram Team 6. We got Aaron Shunk to 4.99 for Tyler and the Rockies. And CJ Abrams. Nice. Rick K. With a nice C.J. Abrams, like an Abrams tank. Remember those? Nice autograph right there. Padres big prospect. Sixth overall pick. 
Seems like a seems like a nice guy too. All already. Already raising money for good causes. There you go. Taking care of business. Alright, next one. Nice Rick. I'll breeze through this paper here. Have we not pulled a Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks? It's kind of fun you got randomized a Diamondbacks. Don't you? You've been buying the Diamondbacks, I think, in a couple last couple of pick your teams. All right, no, I don't think I. I don't remember a Corbin Carroll. Maybe if I see his face. No, we've seen some of him. Blake Walston, we've seen plenty of. Oh, this guy? I don't think I remember this guy. Looks like he has some nice eyeliner going there. All right, there's Ryan Jensen. It's 250. And there's Matt Cantorino to 499. Refractor autograph for Kevin Rock and the Twins. Nice. All right, and the next one here. Brian O saying, where have I been? Justin Field started at Georgia, but transferred because Jake from State Farm was the QB. And the guy has 37 TDs and one interception this season. Well, that's all, all of these are good for the hobby, the NFL hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. Jake from State Farm. You think uh, if he if he makes it in the NFL, Jake from they got to do that, right? Like State Farm has to has to get him on board, right? Yeah, I'm with you, Andrew. Yeah, Andrew Herman's like, you know State Farm is chomping at the bit to get him drafted. Especially like, especially if he's like a first rounder. Woo! State Farm would love that. State Farm! I mean, they got they got a couple quarterbacks. They got Rodgers, they got Mahomes already. Add another one. And then bring back Jake from State Farm. There's Adley Rushman, number one overall pick in 2019. Orioles, Rick K got randomized the O's. Would be nice if we could find this guy. There's Brady McConnell. Brady McConnell, Jeff Iveson, and the Royals. And we'll never be Royals, Royals. Second round pick. Oh, stack those there. <laughs> Jay Tinney saying that, that they're spending too much on Rodgers and Mahomes. Your rates are going. His rates are going up. Yeah. Quit with those commercials. People State Farm's rate, rates are going up. And Chris Paul in those commercials. And you got James Harden in some State Farm commercials. Ooh, the Sunset Harhands commercials back. Miami, 
Alright. Jake from State Farm. We've got Logan Driscoll, 320 to 499 paper for the Padres, paper Padres. And we've got Chase Strumpf. For Aaron and the Cubs, not to be confused with Tyler Stumpf. Some of you may know him here in our crew. Uh, that's with no R. This guy has an R in his last name. There you go. Second round pick going to Aaron and the Cubbies. Should have one more autograph, I think, out of here. Where, maybe a green autograph? That'd be pretty cool. No, it's green paper. Daniel Espino, Espino, that is, to 99. That's for the Indians. No, I thought there was going to be an autograph back there. To 150, Traven Fletcher. So Aaron gets the, um, sorry, check that. Bradley gets the Indians, and then Traven Fletcher goes to Josh Pruce and the Cardinals to 150. And there's Noah's song. What song is he singing, you guys? Look at that. He's got his mouth wide open there. Looks like he's singing his song. Looks like some sort of maybe hardcore song. Maybe a Thursday song. Maybe Finch. Maybe Coheed and Cambria or something like that. Maybe P.O.D. All right, there you go. That's for the Red Sox. That's going to go to Rory. Rebel saying, have, have you all gotten any uh, really good hits out of Bone Dry? Yeah, absolutely. We've got, let me look at the draft class here. We've, we've got some Adley Rushman autographs out of here, your first overall pick. We got Andrew Vaughn, JJ Bledley, Riley Green, CJ Abrams, Nick Lodolo, Josh Young, Shea Langiers, Lang Langliers, Hunter Bishop. Seen some of his redemptions. Bryson Stotts, Will Wilsons, Zach Thompson, a lot of first round guys. Cody Hoseys. So, yeah, pretty strong stuff. Is Wander on this checklist? If he is, he must be like some sort of insert auto. <laughs> Brandy, you like that Thursday reference? All right, and papered end things here, yeah. All right, one more box coming up. And then we'll do a quick autograph recap at the end. Good luck, everyone, on the last one here. Coming up after this will be a, excuse me, half case break of Obsidian football, which filled earlier today then followed by a one-box break of Black Diamond. And maybe we'll go through some orders before we do those breaks. 
Let's see, is there anything else sold out? No, no one, lo no one looks like they want to do Jumbo 8 and 9. That team ran has been sitting, sitting at the same spot. Flawless is sold out. So let's get... So I think Flawless will be after that Black Diamond break. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Let's add that to the schedule. So that should take us to a little bit past uh, 7 o'clock Pacific. So we can... Uh, we can squeeze in another couple breaks. We could, so we still would have time to do at least one of those jumbos if we fit into that seven o'clock time. Both of those jumbos, maybe, if we fit into that seven o'clock time slot. But it's got to fill by then. If something else fills into that seven o'clock time slot, then one of those jumbos might have to be pushed till tomorrow. Jeff says maybe you want to consider stop breaking this product until they stop printing it. Nah, we are a for-profit business, Jeff. As long as people are buying it, we'll keep selling it. And people are buying it. People are loving it. This is great for you prospectors out there looking for them gold up in them hills. You're panning for gold in this stuff. You know? Gold is tough. Panning, sluicing, however you do it, TNTing for gold. However you do it, it is a bit of an effort to find the treasures. Treasures can't come too easy, I'm afraid. You don't find just gold just laying on the ground, like nuggets of gold laid on the ground. It doesn't happen too often. You know, you're not going to a you're not going to the Sacramento River and you're like, oh hey, if you're an old 49er and then be like, hey, there's a big block of gold there for me. Remember the uh Remember the movie There Will Be Blood at the beginning? Daniel Day-Lewis is in that cave all by himself. Just trying to get some kind of mineral out of there, some kind of gold out of there. Sometimes we got to do this too. We are breaking more high-end. We got Flawless on the schedule, Jeff. Did you get into that Flawless? We got Flawless on the schedule. That's a high-end product. Check the website. You can you can see all the stuff we have on the website. There's Estevan Floriel to four ninety nine. Here come your final five autographs here in random team six. There's Joey Bart, big prospect for the Giants, to two fifty purple chrome, and we got Dre Jameson. Mmm, Jameson. Yeah, I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. I have a straw. You have a straw. You just across the line. It's pretty good. Delicious, delicious Jameson going to EA and the Diamondbacks. I haven't seen that movie in a while. I gotta, I gotta fire that up in the old, the old VCR. I gotta go to Blockbuster, grab the tape, fire up the old D, DVR, VCR, and watch There Will Be Blood. That would, that'd probably be on, probably be on two or three cassette tapes. I would think, right? Dust off the old tape rewinder. You think ninety nine percent of people don't know don't have any idea what we're talking about? There'll be blood? I think people remember the movie There'll Be Blood. There's Corbin Carroll, gold paper, five out of fifty for EA. You haven't seen his autograph yet. And there is Brandon Williamson. Reminds me of 
Al Pacino and Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. I think uh, Kevin Spacey's character was Williamson. Williamson! Williamson! You child! That's what he says. Any other curse words? It's a mammoth movie, so there's a lot of curse words. Or it was a play first, I think. Knicks are expensive because of one R.J. Barrett. That's why. Number two overall draft pick. That's what makes the Knicks pricey. And I think, uh, speaking of hoops, I think Sean was saying earlier, if... Uh, there's, uh, if, what else we can break tonight in that 7 o'clock time slot? Well, we still have, Sean, time for both of those jumbos. If you feel like doing more baseball tonight. Or we can fit in some prism. And if the jumbos fill, maybe one of those will have to be pushed to tomorrow. Or both, depending on what else fills before then. But first to fill, first to break. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Whatever your, whatever your heart desires on the website, on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Third pick in the draft. Wait, who was second? Zion. I don't know. I've, I did too many drafts. Yeah, Jeff, believe it or not, we, we know movies. We're, we're in Los Angeles. We're, we're required. It's required viewing when you, live in, when you grow up in L.A. I think everyone remembers Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, too. Who are you hanging out with, Jeff? Two, oh, John Moran. That's right. Out of 250, Christian Santana. Je Jeff Peace, you must be hanging out with, 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 with folks that don't know movies. You got you to gotta, you gotta get some more movie-knowing friends in your circle. All right. There's Desan Brown, 106 out of 499. We talk a lot of pop culture here, Jeff Peace. So... Uh, that Brown goes to, what can Brown do for Randy Ramos in the Blue Jays? What can Brown do for you? But yeah, we've got, we've got a pretty, pretty well, well pop cultured group here. J-Dog, what's going on, man? Good to see you. What do you think about the La how the Lakers are playing? You know what I like about the Lakers? I like the defense that they're playing. I think Frank Vogel has really put that, that defense stamp on the team which uh which makes me pretty happy because that was kind of an issue with the luke walton lakers last year and it looks like the chemistry like lebron and ad and the rest of the role players are coming together a little more quickly than i thought too i'd like for lebron to maybe take it easy i think feel like he's playing like it's playoff lebron but but i'm okay with it so far so good I think if everybody stays healthy, looks like Lakers, Clippers, Western Conference Final. I'd love to see seven games of that. That that'd be appointment TV. I think. All right, there is Hayden. Uh, was Nesky to four ninety nine paper for the Yankees? That will be for Kenny. Yeah, and another one for uh, for Kenny and the Yankees. T.J. Sikama. Wasn't there a a a, a, a Jack Sikama basketball maybe? Basketball player, maybe. Well, Prism's at two, apparently. Does that include the number block? Derek Bratton is saying, just got to fill the rookies and stars number block to make rookies and stars happen. Yeah, we can fit that into the schedule, too. And Jumbo fans, you got to do that team random if you want to do some more of this. Coop would love another Celtics Lakers final. That you know, you know who else wants that? The NBA and uh, and ABC. The ratings would be would be pretty excellent for that. 
You get both both West Coast East Coast markets. All right, there's Anthony Prado to 150 paper. We've got Jose Devers, Rafael's cousin, 118 out of 150, not brother. And woo, Rick, look at this. Wow, did you get randomized the Padres and the Orioles in this? Son of a gun. So he gets the C.J. Abrams earlier with the Padres and gets the, let's get that top loader dust out of there. And gets the number one overall pick, Adley Rushman, who people are saying, from what I've read, and it's Blue Wave, 143 out of 150, pretty close to, pretty close to can't miss is what people seem to be saying. Judging from his exploits in college, and just judging from this, just his makeup and the, his mechanics and all that sort of stuff, so this could be a cornerstone of the Orioles revival. I know I know a couple Orioles fans, they love their baseball. They're pretty thirsty for for some O success again. That could be it. That that that's probably a big piece of it. And if they get a bunch of other young players to come up at the same time, they can have like they could have like a a Phillies Braves esque kind of young team, White Sox esque young team coming up together. If they do it smart, they gotta be smart, but if they can do that, four or five years, they can be, they can be battling with, uh, battling with the Yankees and the Red Sox and the AL East and the Blue Jays. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that was the final box. Let's do a quick recap. All right, of course, Adley Rushman, that was pretty great. Some other nice autographs. We got some color right here too. Uh, Rick also got the C.J. Abrams as well. What a half super. Michael Bush we got Hunter Bishop. And we started off with Tyler Callahan. You feel lucky, punk? Well, do you? If you do, go to jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break with you next time. Bye-bye.